Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittic. Whoa, 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 what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This little dildo Spider-Man looking motherfucking ass swinging all over the shit. What the fuck kind of game is this? Where the fuck's my Paragon, Brittic? What the fuck is this? It's like, oh, wait, hold up, he's climbing a tree. Wait, this is kind of lit. <laughs> well, I kind of like this. Right, so anyways, as I was saying, it's your friend Brittic coming at you fast with another video. And don't worry, I do have some Paragon gameplay stitched into this video. Uh, on the second part of it, well, actually for the most part of it, there's only going to be a minute of what you're seeing here, and this game's called Unravel. It's a nice little cute little game. Uh, it's on sale on the PlayStation Store for only $5. It came out in 2014, and it's just a nice little puzzle platformer, and I decided to take it for a spin, and why not? I thought it was a nice little cute game. It was kind of fun, and I decided to record a little bit, even though I'm not the best at it, to kind of demonstrate a little bit of a point that... It's okay, you know, if you want to get good at Paragon, and if you want to play Paragon and really enjoy Paragon, it's okay to take breaks from it, but the biggest thing that I want to talk about, the topic of this video, is fun versus win, and I'm pretty sure that's how I titled it, I might have titled it in a different way, but we are going to be seeing some Kalari gameplay that I got on my Smurf while playing with some followers. You guys can also play on me. I sometimes do this thing called Followers Friday. There's always going to be a notification either on YouTube or on Twitter. So if you want to have a chance to play with me, you can follow me on Twitter at BritikHD. It's at the end of my videos all the time on my ending screen if you want to know how to spell it. It's the same spelling as my YouTube anyway. You can follow me on there, and I always tweet out when I'm live. And on YouTube, you'll always get a notification if you're subscribed to me and you have that bell button hit. So anyway, what I want to talk about is this really big uh, discussion, not really a discussion, but kind of the subconscious thing going on in every player's mind when they're playing Paragon, and that's, do I want to have fun, or do I want to try hard and win? And I think that's the, I think that's the biggest dichotomy right now uh, that's going on in people's minds when they're playing this game, especially people who want to get better at this game and people who want to progress into higher ranks and stuff. And I think the thing about that is... You kind of have to, you can't really, it sucks because in Paragon right now, you can't really combine the two. Like, you can play Kalari, sure, but there are definitely better alternatives to Kalari, you know, in every lane. There's better offlaners, there's better supports, there's better junglers, in every single way, and it's been proven, mathematically it's been proven, statistically it's been proven just by playing the game, uh, so far at least, in this current quote-unquote meta, you know, you pick the stronger heroes, you can kind of tell which heroes suck, you know, based on how people play them and who plays them and who doesn't even play them and I feel like that kind of you know plagues some people's judgment most of the time when that kind of stuff happens and I'm going to give you guys my personal philosophy that obviously video games are made for people to enjoy and for people to play on their downtime and to enjoy and have fun with okay I made a big old rant video I made multiple rant videos about this and I'm not going to be ranting about it I'm doing it in a very philosophical kind of way to kind of talk about it and bring it to people's attention while I still can, you know, while while people actually are still watching my videos and not everyone switched over to uh, RGSA's top five plays and, uh, you know, Gamer Fitness's group's playthroughs or uh, games and Bloodthirsty Lord's theories and hype videos, which none of those are bad. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, they're they're they've been putting in work, those guys, really. Kudos to them. They've been putting in a lot of work in YouTube and they've been getting a lot of subs and views because of it. And I've just been here busy studying my fucking science for, 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 for my future, for med school, you know, fucking kill me. And obviously I haven't had the time to grind like I did last summer or even last fall and, you know, just just rise up through the ranks of imaginary ELO, by the way, which I still don't understand why people are taking that shit so incredibly seriously. There's no official ranking. There's literally no point. The matchmaking is still broken, you know. You can go and solo queue into against five stacks and everything. There's really no point right now until an official rank mode comes out to even keep track of that shit which still baffles me why people take winning so goddamn seriously even if you are a competitive person and trust me I'm a very competitive person but I think it's more important to have fun okay uh, now now there are people that are gonna say I only have fun when I'm winning and to that I say stop being a little bit it's kind of sad to pair those two things together because I really don't think that they should always be together personally I find it to be very fun even if I lose if the game that I'm playing is fun to play if it's close you know if it's a closed game if it's an intense game if there's some epic plays that happen during it that really make me go wow or like damn that was a good fight or whatever those games are great I don't mind losing games especially if they're really close games 
And I actually do sometimes mind winning games if they're complete blowouts. I'm, I never really find them fun. It's like, okay, well, I get some more imaginary numbers to boost my imaginary self-esteem that doesn't exist with my imaginary friends. But I just don't get it you know, winning with a blowout, it's not fun to me, okay? Sometimes I guess it could be fun to pub stomp and not have to try to get a win, but nonetheless, that competitive itch in me wants to make sure that if I win, it's a well-deserved fun win. It's a well-deserved, well-fought-for win and not just a blowout. Same thing with a loss. If I lose with a complete blowout or if there's glitches, excuse me, or if there's like some bullshit going on or, or my, one of my teammates disconnects, I hate losing like that. I think it's stupid. I don't like unfairly losing, but I will lose, and I will take it with a grain of salt when I do lose, and I'll try and, and make up for my mistakes, and that's just all part of the fun and growing. You know, I find it fun when I grow as a person and as an individual, okay? I don't need to win to, you know, make up for the fact that my dick is small or something. Like, I don't, I don't, need, a, I don't need a win to, to make myself feel better, which I feel like a few people do, and it's okay. Like, I understand when I was a kid, when I was younger, when I was 14, 15, I didn't have any other shit that was really too important to me besides school, and that even was just like, okay, go to school, do your homework, do your shit, and come home and whatever. So video gaming was probably the most important thing in my life at that point, which is kind of sad, but true. And so, yeah, I took it way more seriously than I do now, and maybe some people, that's all that there is to, and that's why they're trying so goddamn hard all the time because that's just how they feel special about themselves but at the end of the day it really doesn't fucking matter when you go into the real world when you go and apply for a job or when you go and you know try and get a girlfriend and you say oh yeah i have this many wins and this is my kda as this fucking hero and this is my win loss ratio in fucking paragon nobody's gonna give a rat's ass okay not even your mom I'm sorry, you know, go tell your mom that right now, she doesn't even understand the half the shit you're saying nowadays with your goddamn language, like, she, she probably barely understands what lit means, okay, that's the language I use too, but around my parents, I do something else, you know, I talk about shit that they actually fucking understand, and they're foreign, and that makes it even more difficult, okay, they can barely understand English, alright, so, thing is, you know, you can link both winning and having fun together, sure, but that'd be really, really sad. And I don't think you should do that. I think you should have fun. And sometimes, if you really want to play games without people, you know, raging at you or being toxic about you, like everybody is now so centered on winning, then just make a smurf like I did right here and go play in silver and gold where you don't give a fuck. Play the hero you want to play and mute everyone else, you know, as long as they don't dodge because there are some people that do dodge. And if there are people that are a lot of dodgers in the world, and there are, then make some friends who also have the same mentality as you if you do want to have fun. But if you do want to win and you want to be competitive about it and if you do want to win and make sure you, you do everything right then find yourself a group of competitive friends so that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed as always make sure you'll have a wonderful day